Good morning, good morning. Happy birthday to you. Welcome to the first day of the rest of your life. Because every day is your birthday if you choose to celebrate life. So happy birthday to you. Even if it's not your real birthday, every day is a chance to celebrate life. Every day is your birthday. I don't know, I messed that up. I told somebody yesterday, <laughs> I usually mess that up every single time. But they said, yes, but that's okay, you're just human. And life happens. And I was like, yep, yeah, you're absolutely right. So anyway, good morning. Happy birthday to you if it's not your real birthday. Welcome to the first day of the rest of your life. Every day is your birthday if you choose to celebrate life. <laughs> there you go. I think I got it right that time. Anyway, um, sorry about the wind noise, by the way. Um, it may get less in a moment when I move across. Ah. <laughs> I was going to say across the water, but there's no water anymore. You can see here, this bit here, this was water before. So I'm walking around um, and we're going to talk today about how we can both win um, in any argument or situation and so forth in a moment. Um, and to a certain extent, this is, this is what I'm doing right now. Um, so you've well have seen me, hopefully it's not too windy, you can hear me, uh, on the beach over there. Uh, you will have seen me uh, walk, broadcast from the top of that hill there. You will have seen me broadcast from the corner where that, there you go, where that um, lamppost is over there. Uh, and now I've come around here because apparently you can get all the way around the coast here, like this, and around the corner there. Um, See if I went very well that angle. All the way around the coast there and around there at low tide. And a low tide is due to happen in about half an hour. Um, so I've got around as far as I can. Obviously, as you can see, I've kind of run out of somewhere to walk. Uh, but this place was covered in water before. I threw a couple of rocks across. I'll show you. Now I could walk across it. I threw a couple of rocks across so I could stand on them just out of the water a couple of minutes ago. And now I'm out of the water anyway, so I don't need the rocks anymore. It's fantastic. So to a certain extent, I'm working on uh, how can I win uh, right here and do the broadcast that I want to do, uh, even though I'm kind of in the middle of the sea here. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Yes, water, water everywhere. <laughs> Not a drop to drink because it's all salty. Um, so I'm hoping that uh, this water here will, will go out uh, in the next 20 minutes or so, and then I can get around the corner there. Because apparently around the corner there is uh, the Tunnels Beaches. There's a man at the top there. <laughs> Uh, there's the tunnel speeches uh, which you have to pay to get to normally uh, but I thought I'd investigate whether or not you can actually get around to them uh, at low tide so uh, we will see whether or not that's possible anyway happy birthday uh, to people whose real birthdays it is today uh, Vibeke I'm going to guess that is or maybe Elizabeth I'm not sure um, whether the, Vibeke is your first name or your second name it's hard to tell sometimes uh, Melanie Damien Robert Robert Lang how are you doing mate I hope everything in life is, is going well and Shirley Shirley Bourne Happy birthday to all you guys. I uh, hope you're having an amazing day. And happy birthday to you, the viewer, whoever the viewer is here, uh, even if it's not your real birthday. It is actually my birthday tomorrow, the 3rd of September. Um, and there is a link in here. If you've ever got value from any of my videos in the past uh, and you'd like to give me a small token of your gesture, for my a token, of, token of appreciation for my birthday, uh, then there's a link down below. Uh, it's set to £10, but you can make it smaller if you want to. That's absolutely fine. Or you can make it bigger if you're really feeling really generous. Um, gosh, that is quite windy. I'm going to move across here and hope the wind is a little bit less. If I move, no? Okay. Apparently not. Let's see if I can get over to here. Uh, bear with me, bear with me. Behind these rocks over here. A bit less windy in this corner. There we go. Definitely less windy in this corner. Um, I can even go hands free. Oh, windy again. I've got to try and get out of the wind. Uh, gosh, this was full of water before. Never mind. Okay, I think that's probably close enough. Close as I can get to. No wind scenario. Um, yeah, in this corner here, maybe. There we go. How are we doing? <laughs> Hopefully, people can hear me now. Um, yes. So um, might be a little bit echoey because of the rocks around me. Um, yes. So if you want to donate a little bit, then feel free. Oh God, I just realised. Problem with coming into the rocks, of course, is you get no signal. So it's always a. It's always a little bit of a compromise between signal and wind um, when there isn't any way to defend the wind from. No. Okay, anyway, right, let's get on with the work. Let's get on with the subject in hand. Um, maybe I'll use my body to shadow from the wind a little bit. Uh, whoever the viewer is, can you tell me if the wind is terrible or it's acceptable at the moment? Uh, that'd be great. Um, how can we both win? So this came about because, oh, I didn't do the breathing exercise. Do the breathing exercise first again. Breathe out one candle, five in through your nose. Put this hand on your heart. On your left hand, light the candles to the cake while you're holding your breath. Five, 
and then blow out the candles on this cake. Wish yourself a happy birthday and wish the people whose real birthdays it is today happy birthday. And anybody else in your life who knows happy birthday, feel free to wish me a happy birthday in advance of tomorrow if you like. <laughs> um, cool. So how can we both win? Um, yes, sorry about the, uh, the long intro. If you're watching the replay, give me a hashtag replay and I apologise for um, all the chitty chat at the beginning rather than getting onto the, the subject in hand. Um, but you should know these videos by now. There's always about three or four minutes of uh, chit chat, catch up, happy birthdays, breathing exercise at the beginning before we get into the, uh, the main topic of the day. So if you're watching the replay, just skip forward a couple of minutes uh, in future and you'll know. Um, okay. Uh, how can we both win? So this came from uh, an email I got this morning from Joe Happiness Howarth. Uh, I read her emails every morning. Fantastic. Um, sometimes it's fantastic. Sometimes it's not you know, fantastic, but good. Um, but today's was interesting because it was a lady talking about how she had an argument with her daughter uh, about a wet bikini. <laughs> um, and, uh, and it was interesting because she, I, was, I was thinking to myself, well, why are you even worried about that? The bikini is going to be going for sea anyway. And then at the end of the story, it was, well, yeah, well, why am I worried about that? Because the bikini is going to get wet anyway. Um, so, so it was it was an interesting story but um, but it made me think about how how can we win win why why are you both fighting to have the thing that you want rather than saying well how can we both get what we want here so they, she wanted to get out of the house and have a nice day and so forth and the daughter wanted to wear her favourite bikini and, uh, and I'm thinking to myself well why not just uh, allow her to have a on time it's surely there's a win-win here for both of you uh, you can both win these things and that of course reminded me of the seven habits of highly successful people the book about that um, and uh, and then that reminded me of the uh, recent olympic high jump men's olympic high jump i should say um, when uh, the two guys had got to the point where they both jumped exactly the same uh, at one point and uh, they 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 had to sort of go for a jump off if they wanted to decide who was going to get the gold medal and uh, they both said well why can't we have, can't we both have a gold medal uh, and the judge said, well, yeah, I suppose so, if you both agree to it. And they both agreed to it, so they both got a gold medal. Uh, so they had a win-win scenario there. Rather than trying to beat each other, they're great friends. They've jumped together for years. They've known each other for years. They've gone through hardships together. And they just said, why don't we just share the gold and be done with it? Um, and it was a beautiful moment, beautiful moment of, of camaraderie and uh, sportsmanship uh, and fantastic. So, um, But then also I was thinking about the washing up on the thing, um, which when I was on the Camino. So when I was walking the Camino, and I went to start with the story, Santiago, um, you have the way, the way you do it is you, you have a shower in the afternoon, about four o'clock in the afternoon. Um, typically not on the first day, but because basically what happens is you walk uh, from seven o'clock in the morning uh, and you get all sweaty and hot and everything, and then you arrive at the place where you're going to be and you take all your hot, sweaty clothes off, you have a shower, uh, you wash your clothes, you hang them up to dry, and you put your dry clothes on for the evening session. Uh, if you'll rain, <laughs> that's going to be a bit of disaster. Um, uh, you put your dry clothes on and then you go to sleep and then you wake up at 7 o'clock the next morning you don't bother having a shower in the morning uh, you, you put on uh, the clothes that you were wearing the night before um, and then you start walking and then obviously you have the shower at the end of the day at sort of 4 o'clock in the afternoon um, and so you kind of get into this routine of course the problem then comes is if you're if you go out for the evening and you get wet or, or your clothes from yesterday haven't quite dried properly uh, or in some situation basically where you wake up the next morning and you've still got damp clothes. Um, and, uh, and what you start to realise after a while is that it doesn't really matter um, because you're going to sweat anyway. Um, and actually your body temperature quite a lot of the time will, will dry out the clothes anyway, um, depending on the circumstances. Obviously if it's pouring with rain and you tend not to do that. But, um, but there are quite a lot of situations where you can put on slightly damp clothes and your body temperature will dry them out as you wear them. Um, uh, and that's kind of kind of a cool thing. And I also noticed that when I get out of the shower, I have this sort of, I, I used to have this uh, kind of obsession with always having myself like perfectly bone dry before I put my clothes on. Uh, and now I've discovered that actually if I get out to dry and I, I get fairly dry, fairly well dry, um, then the air temperature will actually dry me off before I finally get dressed. So that the time it takes me to wash my teeth and put my deodorant on and, uh, and all that kind of stuff, I'll actually dry off anyway. Um, so I don't need to get myself fully dry before I put my towel away. Um, uh, so, uh, another thing I've discovered myself, um, and it kind of just made me think about all these little things that, that we have this kind of obsession with, have this habit, this mindset about something, then, uh, and then we're not willing to change because that's the way we've always been. Um, and that just made me think, well, I wonder how many other things in our lives that we've got stuck into, we've got a habit of, um, and we're just not willing to change. Uh, and, then, and that made me think about the, uh, the classic, uh, um, classic, I don't know if it's classic, but um, the cartoon you see sometimes doing the rounds, the meme going round, 
um, which says, and it's like the bloke at the front of the room is saying, who wants change? And everybody's like, me, we want change. And he's like, who wants to change? And everybody puts their hands down. It's this big silence. Everybody's looking at you. I don't want to change. We want change, but I don't want to actually change. No, no, no. I don't want to change. I don't want to change my life. No, no, no. I want everybody, I want the whole world to change, but I don't want to have to change. It makes no sense. You have to change. And actually the world changes anyway. The, the only constant in life is, is change. Um, because the world changes constantly. I mean, the sea is coming in and out all the time. Every time the sea comes in, it's, it's rubbing against the rocks a little bit. And over time, the rocks become soft. You can see those two rocks that I was standing on a minute ago. They're kind of worn down a little bit. And actually, if you pick up a, you go, a little rock here, it's a random rock I've just picked up. And you can see it's been in the sea for a long time and it's worn all its edges down. It's got no sharp edges, it's all round. And you've got loads, there's loads of these rocks around here. There you go. Two or three or more of them here. Here and here. There you go. Two more of them. <laughs> Um, and you've been to, if you haven't ever been to the beach, you know what it's like. And then of course you can take these, these rocks and you can skim them. You do a little skimmy thing. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, fantastic. Um, because that's change. That's change happening. Plants grow, plants die. Um, we grow. We are constantly growing. We're constantly changing our um, the, 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 the constitution of our body. Uh, I can't remember who, where I read it, but I think it's something like uh, every cell in our body is, is renewed every seven years or something like that. Um, which is just nuts when you think about it, isn't it? <laughs> so you're not even the same person you were seven years ago, whether you like it or not, no matter how hard you tried. Um, so um, I just thought it was a hilarious thing to think about. I've forgotten my timer, so I've no, long, no idea how long I've been trying for, talking for. So I apologise. Uh, no, I don't want to apologise because it's only me that suffers if I talk for more than 15 minutes. Um, so I'm going to wrap up now. Uh, but I will say this other little last little thing here, which I thought was not really relevant to what we're talking about here, but it does kind of come into this uh, this change concept. Because um, I, I was watching a video yesterday from a guy called Peter Schiff, who's an economist in America, uh, and he was saying how uh, President Biden had said, I'm not going to tax anybody with, who earns less than 400,000. And then Peter Schiff was saying, no, that's not true. Because of inflation, um, <laughs> they're effectively being taxed. And I was like, you know, but you know what he means. You're, you're using confirmation bias to find a, uh, an argument that fits your narrative <laughs> rather than actually just accepting the face value of what was said. Um, but it then did make, make me think about how, because uh, what he ended up saying was that it's inflation, inflation happens because um, they print more money, which is basically what happened. They just basically printed more money. And of course, um, that then reminded me of the, uh, the Grant Cardone statement, um, which was, which is, who's got my money? <laughs> um, and then the, the precursor to that is basically is that he, he says, you don't need to make more money because it's already been made. And I thought, oh, yeah, 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 because that is what happens, isn't it? The governments make money. Um, and actually, if you're into Bitcoin and, and cryptocurrency and stuff, then you're mining, um, then effectively you're make, you are making money in that respect. Um, I'm trying to work out if the water's actually, the water doesn't seem to be going. If you remember at the beginning, I was, I, was, I was hoping that this water would go out. Um, maybe it never actually goes out completely. Um, it just gets shallow enough that you can wade around the corner. <laughs> I don't know. Um, no, you've still got 20 minutes until low tide, so who knows. Um, right, um, yes, yeah, so I just thought it was quite funny that uh, he was complaining about the fact that money has been, has, more money has been printed uh, and that that was a problem for people because it effectively it, it deflates the, um, the, the, the value of your money. Uh, but Grant Cardone would just say, well, just go and get more money. Who's got my money? Who? Because that money has been printed, it's been given to somebody, somebody has that money. Um, how can you get that money off that other person, whoever that person is? How can you offer somebody something such that they will pay you for it um, and therefore you will um, you will earn some of that money that's going around somewhere else. It's just a flow. It's just a flow of money. There's a there's a finite amount of money in the world, but it's actually an infinite amount of money because they can just print more of it. Um, that's one of the reasons why Bitcoin is such a good thing, of course, because there is a finite amount of it. So uh, similar to gold as well. Similarly, when when our currencies were tagged to gold, that made sense because um, there's a finite amount of gold uh, in the earth. Um, although. Obviously, if you start going and mining uh, asteroids and moons and other planets and so forth, then you can create more gold that way. Um, but the general idea is that there's a limited amount of, of gold on Earth, and so therefore the value of it is, is fairly fixed. You know? Whereas actual printed money, when it's just a promise from your government, it's infinite, it doesn't matter. And so therefore, they can print more of it any time they want. So it's just a matter of how much of it do you want in your, in your wallet, in your, um, in your bank account. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> but uh, in order to change, um, you need to change. You need to choose to change. Um, and in order for both people to win, uh, you both have to accept the fact that uh, you both
both have to change. You both have to maybe change your rules uh, and your way of thinking about life in order for you both to win. Okay, that's all from me for now, for today. Uh, hope you have a lovely day. Remember, it's my birthday tomorrow. If you want to uh, donate to me and uh, thank me for all these videos that you've seen over the last nearly a year now. It was mid-October, I think, when I started these. So nearly a year of daily videos I've been doing. Um, uh, they're all on YouTube johnvdenley.com forward slash youtube if you want to check them all out there i say all of them actually they're not all up there but most of them are up there um uh, certainly most recent ones as well because i had a big backlog that uh, didn't upload them all um but uh yeah so yeah again John V Denley. no paypal.me forward slash john uh, if you want to give me a donation there's a link in the description all right take care guys bye for now love you all I'm gonna give you some love Mwah. And I'm going to give you a little tour around where I'm standing right now. Still waiting for that water to go out. Enjoy the view. You've also seen me up there, that house there. And then just to the other side of it, over there somewhere, is the haunted house. Where's the haunted house? Haunted house up there somewhere, I think. Um, anyway. All right, cool. Take care, guys. Bye for now. Have a lovely day. See you tomorrow. Okay, so I thought I'd come up to the top and see um, how far I could actually get. Um, around where I thought I was trying to get to. <laughs> so I'm going to flip the camera around now. Uh, and I was standing on a couple of rocks. Uh, anyway, just there, basically. Can't quite see them, I don't think. Uh, and so you can see this is where I was trying to get to, but as you can see, that's, we're now about two minutes away from low tide. And clearly, uh, it would take some swimming or some very adventurous climbing to get around there. And then eventually, around to this beach over here, I think. Yeah. Um, which is not even the Tunnel's Beaches. <laughs> because you've still got to go around that head there to get to the Tunnel's Beaches. Um, so you could probably swim it quite comfortably. But, uh, yeah, I'm not sure I'd want to walk it, really. Anyway, that was a bit of fun. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.